Now at five, no criminal charges will be filed against 49er defensive end Ray McDonald. McDonald had been at the center of a domestic violence investigation after an argument involving his pregnant fiance during a birthday party at his home. We know tonight that we have documents which detail exactly what happened at Ray McDonald's home the night of the incident. That's new tonight. But first, as Crown Force Rob Flatabo reports, in the end, the prosecutors say there was simply not enough evidence to convince a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. We cannot prove that a crime occurred. In announcing the decision on Monday, the lead prosecutor in the Ray McDonald case said the decision not to file domestic violence charges against the 49ers lineman was based on insufficient evidence. And at the end of the day, we just didn't really have enough evidence to know what exactly happened that night. There's a couple of crucial pieces of evidence missing. It was here at his San Jose home where Ray McDonald was arrested by San Jose police in August on suspicion of domestic violence in connection with an argument with his fiance. In a statement, the DA's office said its two month long investigation found conflicting accounts of what happened, a lack of credible witnesses and a lack of cooperation by McDonald's fiance, whom arresting officers say had visible injuries. Because the victim in this particular case uh, didn't cooperate beyond the initial investigation, we weren't able to take photos of her injuries 48 hours later, which is a standard part of domestic violence prosecutions in Santa Clara County. The DA's office says the involvement of an off-duty San Jose police officer working security for the 49ers delayed its investigation, but ultimately had no impact on the decision. Prosecutors said they hoped other victims of domestic violence won't be disheartened by this case. When asked for his take, 49ers coach Jim Harbaugh said much the same thing. And, you know, I think that the people you know, can see that if they have a, a um, you know, an issue when it comes to domestic violence, that they will be heard. Uh, that is, that has been my view of it. While he believes Ray McDonald is telling the truth, Coach Jim Harbaugh also says he thinks the case sparked a positive dialogue about domestic violence for both the league and its players. In Santa Clara, Rob Flatabo, Crown 4 News. One of the reasons the district attorney has decided not to prosecute is because of conflicting stories about what actually happened. Still, we are learning quite a bit more about the incident than we knew before. Crown 4's Dan Kerman has been reviewing a memo detailing the DA's legal Legal review of the case. Dan joins us now with the latest. Dan. Well, Pam, here's what we know about this incident. It occurred at a birthday party that McDonald threw for himself at his San Jose home on August 30th. Sometime after midnight, McDonald's pregnant girlfriend, referred to in the report as Jane Doe, was asleep upstairs when her friend came to a room and said some women were getting too friendly with McDonald. The DA's report says Jane Doe came downstairs, saw a woman talking to McDonald, and asked her to step outside. McDonald became upset that his girlfriend was embarrassing him and was concerned for her safety because of, quote, the aggressive manner in which she was speaking to the other woman. As Jane Doe headed back upstairs, the report says McDonald followed her. She says he called her names, indicated that she was an unfit mother, and threatened to take her baby. Both Jane Doe and McDonald agree that Jane Doe struck first. Here is where the stories go in different directions, though. Jane Doe says it was a single push. McDonald says Jane Doe hit him multiple times with a closed fist, though the DA says McDonald had no visible injuries. The report says McDonald grabbed Jane Doe's arm to restrain her, resulting in visible injury. McDonald tried to remove Jane Doe from the home forcibly. Remember, Jane Doe is 10 weeks pregnant at this time. At one point, he grabbed her neck, resulting in visible injury. Jane Doe said she was fighting back physically, resisting McDonald's efforts to pull her out of the house. Eventually, McDonald called police saying, I need to get this female out of my house. And minutes later, Jane Doe called 911 saying, I'd like to press for domestic violence. My fiance, he's trying to pull me out of the house. The report goes on to say Jane Doe told responding officers that she did not want McDonald arrested. She just wanted him to stop trying to remove her from the home. Responding officers, though, arrested McDonald, though, believing that probable cause existed to believe that he was the dominant aggressor and that his conduct had resulted in visible injury to Jane Doe. 
We should note that the report indicates Jane Doe refused to participate in the investigation after that night. Also, there were no eyewitnesses to the physical altercation. Again, the DA concluding that because there was mutual fighting, no verifiable witnesses, no significant injuries, and no allegation of prior domestic violence by McDonald, the DA could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that McDonald did not act in self-defense.